There's barely a muscle there. Hello everyone and welcome to an extra midweek video. And that's because it's a subscriber recommended craft kit. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Yes, that's right. Kelly messaged us on Twitter, wanted me to try a wood whittling kit. And I've just realised I haven't bought the exact same wood whittling. <laughs> and I've just realised I haven't bought the exact same wood whittling kit that you suggested. How dare you! But I did buy the one from the same company. It's just I'm going to be making a love spoon instead of like little figurines. I also don't know how I'm going to make this. Look at the state of that. They expect me to make that spoon. I don't think so. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be able to make that. And this is also from a company called. Beavercraft, not sponsored, and I'm also pretty sure there's a joke somewhere in that. Oh my god, it says, say I love you in wood. There's completely another joke in that. I don't know whether they've meant this, but it's very dirty, and I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, let's get into this, see what it's like. Okay, so we've got an instruction booklet, some, I don't know, possibly like little sandpaper stuff. I assume this is going to be some sort of sharp knife, a block of wood, a pencil, whatever that is, whatever that is, and that and also a little template okay ah oh, it's so dusty right give me one second i'm gonna have a little read through this instruction booklet because i've never done this before so i'll just see what i'm supposed to be doing <laughs> okay so this instruction booklet is relatively thick and believe it or not there are 22 steps to carve a wooden spoon like are you kidding right okay well i'll just take it step by step and see how i get on oh, there's measurements and all sorts Ugh. okay step one throw it in the bin okay so i'm gonna have to mark distance out on here 2.4 inches and 4.7 inches from the edge where's my ruler at can you believe i own a ruler there's no point i very rarely use it 2.4 inches and 4.7 okay first step done Piece of piss. Step two, extend the lines from both sides. Oh, look at all this measuring, oh gross. Okay, so extend the lines from both sides. Okay, down you go, down you go, again on this side. Now mark a 0.2 inch from the edge. Please be patient with all these inches and lines. You're speaking to the wrong person. <laughs> mark down here, 0.2, eh, what are you on about? And then make a mark of 0.6, oh, whatever, what are you doing? What are you on about make a mark 0.2 from the edge oh that just means like 0.2 inches all right why can't you do it in centimeters for i hate inches I, I don't know what an inch is how many how many what's what's the bit below an inch like what's the part beneath an inch like centimeter below a centimeter is a millimeter what's below an inch i'm gonna have to google it because i don't know how many of whatever them things are are in an inch what is below an inch an inch yeah yeah bracky what's what's an inch what's below an inch it's a fraction <laughs> it's a fraction oh that's so gross yeah what you call 0.1 inch. A tiny penis. A tenth of an inch. Right, a whole inch is one out of one. A half inch is a quarter and eighth. Yeah, but so there's eight. Right. What? I would just love to know what 0.2 of an inch is. It must be these lines. I'm just going to say this bit. Centimetres and millimetres are a lot easier to use. I don't understand why anyone on planet Earth still uses inches and stuff. It's too confusing. Do I do it on the other side as well? I assume I'm gonna have to. Oh, this is a right ass on. So now I need to make a mark of 0.6 inches from the edge, then make the same marks from the other side. I have no idea what you're talking about. 0.6 inch. Is that half an inch? Well, it'll have to be, won't it? I'm just looking at the picture and it looks about right. So if I just follow the picture, I'm just gonna copy what theirs looks like. So it looks as if we're connecting all of this together. Yeah, that looks about right to me. And then we're going around this bit too. Mine doesn't look like theirs at all. Mine's not right, I've done mine wrong. Oh, screw this, like why? Can I, right. No, it's driving us crazy because there's just so many, there's just so many pictures. I just want to carve a nice spoon. Like, it's just you using a template and pissing around. I know for a fact I'm going to measure all of this. I'm going to measure it completely wrong. And then there's going to be no point of me measuring it in the first place. So I'm just going to carve my spoon. I can't, I can't deal with it. It's really irritating as I don't know whether you can tell. It's because it's all in inches. And I don't know what below an inch is. Let me just play around. I just enjoy playing around. And the thing is as well, 
Oh, this sharp. That's very sharp. And the thing is as well, if you put like loads of measurements and all of that kind of stuff, it just sucks the fun out of it, doesn't it? Whereas I just wanna, I just wanna stab some wood. That's all I wanna do. So we've got these two very sharp tools. Look at that little dangerous tool. And then we've got this one as well. They're well sharp. You could probably do some damage to someone. Please put down the knife. Right, I'm just gonna have a little read up on the kind of carving technique and then I'm just gonna have some fun with it because yeah, just, just no. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I understand the process. So this bit's kind of for scooping out the spoon bit and this bit's just for carving everything else. Okay, I can do that. Right, let us try and make a spoon. Oh, look at that, it's like butter. Ah, I've just stabbed myself already. <laughs> the thing is, I did try and do some carving, some like wood whittling one time, but I don't think I had the correct wood and I was also using a chisel and it didn't end very well. <laughs> so it's nice to actually do something with like proper tools. I have a funny feeling I'm not gonna be very good at this. I'm not being defeatist or anything. I just don't think I'm gonna be particularly great at this. I feel like I'm also gonna really badly hurt myself. I tell you what, they make it look so much easier. I thought this was gonna be like, just like gliding through and doop a doop a doop and it's not. It's, it's just definitely not like that. I think you might have to just take it very slowly. I'm gonna stick with it, but I don't think I'm enjoying this so far. It doesn't feel like, I don't know. I just, I, th I think it's cause I don't trust myself with it. But I don't like it. Ah, oh, you know what? There is absolutely no way. You know when I was doing obviously the drawing on this and trying to measure it and stuff. There's absolutely no way, even if I measured it perfectly well and stuff, I was going to be able to cut that pattern out with this knife, with this bit of wood. There's no chance. I feel like sometimes people make crafts look incredibly easy or certain DIY projects look incredibly easy and they leave out the fact that they've had like 10 years plus experience doing that one dedicated craft so they find it really easy and they make it look really easy but for new people who are just starting it off it is very very difficult I think you need like a very specific technique like I feel like if you glide like that it works quite nicely and one tip always cut away from you never ever cut towards you I don't think I've got the muscles for it I did a little gym workout yesterday <laughs> And my arms are very weak today. I'm struggling a little bit. I feel like I'm like whittling like this. And I don't have strong arms to begin with. <laughs> Which bit's the spoon? Oh, is this bit the spoon? Okay. But we don't want to take too much off there because we want to be able to like eat with it. And this is like a proper craft people do all the time, you know. Obviously, it's a very traditional craft. And I can imagine if like you're really good at it, you could make some really cool things. And also, I think if you were really good at it, you would find this very relaxing. It would almost be like knitting to you. I don't know whether it relaxes me at the moment, but I could I could see it. I can definitely see it. Also, I think I'm just a little bit distracted because I've started to watch a TV show on Netflix called, I think it's called Fool Me Once or something. It's got Joanna Lumley and some other people in. And obviously I love Joanna Lumley. Bring me a knitting needle. A knitting needle. <laughs> and I've only started the first episode and honestly, I'm already hooked. I want to binge watch the entire thing. Like I just had my lunch there and I watched the first episode because I've heard everyone talking about it and people going on and on about it. And I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. Really, really good. I would say don't spoil it for us, but by the time this video comes out, hopefully, well, I say hopefully, of course I'll have plowed my way through it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. It's like a murder mystery kind of TV show. And I very much like TV shows and films and stuff that have like loads of twists and turns and it keeps you on like your toes and stuff. There was one film I watched recently, which was absolutely shite by the way. It had Julia Roberts in and it's on Netflix and it was all about kind of the end of the world and stuff. I can't remember what it was called, but it was the most predictable, boring film ever. It was the kind of film that could have been really, really good, but I, I watched it and I was waiting for it to get really good or really interesting and fun and there were so many avenues to go down and it went down literally none of them. And it was just, it was just such a waste of time. I finished the film and I felt like I'd wasted two hours of my life. I was so upset. So if you ever see that film and you're intrigued about it and you want to watch it, don't. Don't waste your time. It's so boring. And I was shocked as well considering I had Julia Roberts in. I thought it would have been good. Like, like another film I watched recently as well. It began with a V, I can't remember the name of it, but it was basically this kind of psychological horror film about a couple that gets kind of stuck in like a, a housing estate, like a new build estate. And again, it was another film that had so much potential and I was so excited about it and it just went nowhere. It was predictable, the ending was predictable and it just left me so unsatisfied. I was so annoyed that that's basically all the film was. It was just, again, I felt like 
like I'd wasted my time watching it. So if you ever come across them two films and think, oh, I'll give them a go, seriously don't bother. I don't even think it's a subjective thing either. I think they're literally just not very good films. Obviously, I'll never tell you what to do. So if you want to, you know, try them yourself and see if you enjoy them, go for it. But I was just incredibly bored by both of them. I don't feel like I'm getting very far with this. It still just looks like a bit of wood. And this is supposed to be a spoon, is it? It's going to be a very thick spoon. Are they expecting me to carve this entire thing down? This'll take forever. I'm just thinking because it's like so thin. And this is just so big and thick. Why? Why couldn't they have started us with a thinner bit of wood? I'm just gonna continue to whittle and see if I actually get anywhere with this. Or whether I just make a mess. But I have a suspicion I'm just gonna end up making a mess. I might put another episode of that program on actually. And I'll speed through this and see if I can get very far with it. Because I'm, I'm gonna be here hours. Look at what I've done so far. Obviously I think this kit provides sandpaper. But look at the state of that. I feel like I've just proper chewed at it. Maybe that's why it's called beaver. Because you like chewing at the wood. Totally makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna have to call this one a defeat. I'm sorry. My arms are like jelly. I can't feel them anymore. I don't understand. The people who do wood whittling either must have incredibly strong hands or like massive muscles. Look at the state of mine. There's barely a muscle there. It's just like little bits of string hanging out my t-shirt. My arms, they're just, they're just so weak. This is definitely the kind of craft that looks a lot easier or sounds a lot easier than it actually is. It is so hard. Also, it looks like a knob. I've just realized I've carved a penis. But that's how far I got. Look how, look how thick it is. And that's supposed to be a spoon. It's going to be like half that thickness. And I'm supposed to whittle this with a little tiny knife. Like, I don't think so. But that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully, I have enjoyed it, even though it hasn't particularly gone that well. But if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you, Kelly, for suggesting I try wood whittling. I'm sorry I couldn't obviously do more intricate designs like on the box. I was expecting to carve through this, kind of like butter, and it's not, it's like carving through wood, believe it or not. But I'm, I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, can I do an ice bath for my arms? Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? I definitely don't think you go to the gym for a couple of weeks now. I don't think I could, but I'll see you on Friday for something I hope that's less strenuous. What am I doing on Friday? It's a nice crafty video. There's nothing too kind of intense, so that's nice. I think this kit was really expensive too. I think I spent about 40 quid on this kit, and I don't really... Do I think it's worth 40 quid? I'm not sure. There we go. Oh my god. That was ready for bed. That's how exhausting it is. I'm actually shattered. I don't think I've ever yawned on the channel. That's the first time I've yawned because I'm that knackered. Just from carving a bit of wood. Good.